Hello everyone. Today we are learning about the median. A success criteria is I can determine the median of a list of numbers. The median is the middle number of an ordered list of numbers. The median is considered as a way of representing an average or typical value of a list. The median's main selling point is that it is very resistant against being skewed by outliers. These are values that are extreme or abnormal. Example 1. A list with an odd number of values. The number of hot dogs eaten in a hot dog eating contest by seven different contestants are shown below. Find the median. So we have our list here and the first thing we need to point out is that there are seven numbers in the list and seven is an odd number. Now the median is the middle number of an ordered list of numbers, so we need to put these numbers in order. It doesn't matter whether you order them from smallest to largest or the other way around, but you have to do it in one of those ways. So here we'll just order them from smallest to biggest. And since the list has seven numbers, we can quite easily pick out a middle number. So let's try and do that. So I've written out the list again. And if we look at the number 8, we can see that it's got three numbers before it and three numbers after it. So we can say that 8 is the middle number here. And so the median is 8. And we can also see that the presence of this number 75, which is actually the, the world record for the number of hot dogs eaten in 10 minutes, doesn't have an effect on the median. So this number 75, it could have been a million, it could have been a billion, and the median still would have been 8. So the presence of an outlier doesn't affect the median. Example 2, and this example is going to show us a list which has an even number of values. So, the yearly salaries of four employees at Hope Petroleum are shown below. Find the median salary. So, we have our list of salaries here. So remember, the median is the middle number of an ordered list of numbers. So let's order them from smallest to largest. So I've put them in order. And again, I should point out that this list has four values in it, and four is an even number. Now, because the list has an even number of values, we can't actually pick up uh, one one number as being the middle number from the list. So in this case we have two middle numbers, 30,000 and 50,000. So when your list has an even number of values, you have to try and work out the midpoint slightly differently. So we need to find the midpoint between these two middle values. And to do that, 
we just add them up and divide by 2. So we're essentially finding the mean of these two middle values. And if we add them up, we get 80,000, which we have to divide by 2. And if we do that, we get the median as being £40,000. And so this £40,000 is quite representative of the list of four numbers. It's quite close to three out of the four. It's nowhere near the outlier, but that could be good. And if we were to have worked out the mean of this list, it would have been a lot higher. So in this, in this case, the median is more representative of the numbers on this list than the mean is. So quite often, when uh, if you're looking at a news article talking about the salaries of people working at a large company, often they'll use the median rather than the mean because the people at the top who earn you know millions per year that would have a large effect on calculating the mean because the mean would be skewed towards the people earning the large salaries and it would give an impression of the average salary of the company being higher than it really is because most people aren't earn earning anywhere near that but if you use the median as the average, then it will avoid the effect of the people with the large wages and it will focus on the far more numerous people earning a lot less. And to end things, I'll uh, leave you all with a picture of whiskey.